Guys, I gotta be honest. Gratter, 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 I was trying to figure out how the hell you activate that thing. I was actually trying to activate it for like an entire day because I was seeing a lot of people saying that it was happening to them. I was trying to see if there was ways to like actually activate it. When I couldn't get it to activate, I ended up going to the Discord to see if I could get some answers. Do you have to do anything to activate it? Because it's not showing up. I asked him what phone to press. It's the main desk, right? Yeah. Did you pick a mission? Are you on the supporter build? So you didn't do a mission or anything. You just started up the game and that was that. What the frack? Why is it working for these people and not for me? Then I realized that I live in a part of the world where everybody gets updates before I do. It turns out that this only activates on the 1st of April as a meme and here I was still in March 31st scrambling trying to get this damn thing to work only to find out that you just have to switch it to the 1st of April because the second day it didn't activate so yeah hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> But anyways, what's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released a briefing? Yeah, a briefing, not the newsletter. They've got briefings that are the previews to the newsletters and updates, so it's a bit confusing. But I still wanted to cover it because it's relatively small, but I think I'm going to add on to it at the end here. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Once again, brought to us by the very generous Guinevere, the community manager of Void Interactive. The name of this update is called Future Content Preview. The March update has arrived. Howdy gamers. Welcome to the 27th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. This time around, we wanted to showcase a few different concepts and weapon variants that are further out from being ready for public release. We're keeping an eye on any necessary hotfixes for the recently released March update and are hard at work on a much larger update for April. Sweet. So we thought it would be good to offer a few teasers of what the future might hold. And the first thing that they got here is new weapon variants MP5A3 and MP5A3 10mm. Okay, and it says, As we continue to work on the new weapons for Ready or Not, we also want to show love to the subtle intricacies that existing weapon platforms already have. Whether these be different calibers, different furniture, or the ability to utilize different attachments, so long as it offers more options for the player to enjoy, we're happy. To that point, we've been working on two new variants of the venerable MP5 for Ready or Not. The MP5A3 and the MP5A3 10mm, its high caliber cousin, are perfect examples of weapons that showcase and emphasize the subtle differences. This updated version of the world's most well-known and best trusted submachine gun features a lot more rail coverage for attachments, and in the case of the 10mm variant, a high caliber. Both feature unique updated audio to represent their differences from the existing MP5. So we got a picture here. This is the MP5A3 available in addition to the existing MP5. Oh, so we're gonna keep the same one that we have currently? Cool. You know, I'll be honest, I don't know if I really like the design of this. I think I just like, you know, the plain old MP5, but that's just my opinion. What's yours? As I was recording this, they actually released some footage of the gun here, so I'm going to show that off to you. Then we got the picture of the other MP5. Underneath the picture it says, the MP5A3 10mm, a favorite of officers looking for a bit more punch, or who just likes straight mags. Again, I, I'm not really a fan of the way that these MP5s look, you know. I'm just more of a fan of the OG. Maybe. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments. They also released a video for this gun here too, so I'm going to play that for you right now. Thank you. 
Moving on to the next thing here, we got Suspect Ingenuity, aka Shotgun Traps. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Wonder how we're gonna disarm that. On the conceptual side of development, we've been working on adding more variety to the traps and tools that suspects can utilize against the player. Chief among these have been the Shotgun Trap, an idea that we've been holding close to our hearts for years, but never been able to dedicate time to creating it. Now, however, we're happy to showcase an in-game render of the new Shotgun Trap and what it looks like from the other side of the door. Oh my god, that looks sketch as hell. And honestly, it looks more like somebody actually took the time to make this thing. Like, it doesn't really look makeshift, you know? Looks like they got the guy that works on the freaking birdhouses to make this thing. Because it looks too elegant to be makeshift. Especially if I find this thing in a freaking meth house. Like, they should definitely make it look more makeshift. Because it, it just looked like somebody straight went to freaking Home Depot and just made this themselves. Unless maybe they bought it from somewhere? I don't know. But underneath it, it says, The shotgun trap requires an elaborate setup, but packs a devastating punch. Well, yeah. Yeah, of course, you're getting hit with the freaking sawed off right there. It's freaking insane. And then it shows the other side of the door right here. I'm not sure what those circles are. Is that supposed to be the bolted? Oh, is that how you know? I guess that's how you know that there's a shotgun on the other side of the door, but how are you going to be able to see that? Because this is just like a plain white door. You could clearly see that, but I think a lot of the doors that are in the meth house are dark brown. That's going to be tough to see. Like, unless you have freaking NBGs on, it's going to be tough to see those bolts. I just imagine a lot of people are going to be complaining about this, and I'm just like, fuck them. They don't pay attention. Let them get freaking shot. Well, that's just my opinion. What's yours? Underneath the picture, it says, the business end of the shotgun trap, be alert, or you might go home in a body bag. Exactly what I'm thinking. And then they have a concept art right here, which I think we actually looked at it in the previous video, if I'm not mistaken. Although this one looks a little more updated. Yeah, I think we've already talked about this, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not going to go into it. I'll just put it up on the screen for you guys to pause and read if you want to really look at it. But uh, yeah, underneath the picture, it says a very early concept of the shotgun traps, as well as a few others that may show up. Mm. Yeah, again, we already saw this concept in our previous video, so uh, I don't remember what video it was. I I know it wasn't recent, but uh, yeah. Moving on to the last thing here. In conclusion, this brings an end to our 27th bi-weekly briefing, sharing some of our new weapon variants and deadly new trap that we look forward to integrating into the game. And that pretty much does it for this weekly briefing. That was actually relatively short, so in order to extend the video, I thought I'd add a couple more things here. Stuff that was released not too long ago, so I thought it'd be good just to add it in right here. The first thing that we got here is the MP9, and this is the suppressed version. Let's take a look at this bad boy boy. That's hot. That's real hot. That was the suppressed version of it. Let's see what it sounds like without the suppression. A lot of people have said that the sounds actually sound kind of samey when it comes to the guns, and I mean, I kind of do agree. They could definitely use somebody to make different sounding guns, but I mean, they're not terrible sounding. But uh, yeah, anyway, so that was the MP9, just a preview of it before we get it into the game. Up next is something that's really simple. The Paper Dawn now reflects the carry state of your character. Something pretty simple. Eventually, they're just going to make it so that the little Paper Dawn does everything that you do. Whether it be leaning or crouching or doing that dynamic cover system thing. I forget what it's called. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Moving on to the next thing here. We got a picture of a suspect, I assume? And oh my god, is that a hobo? Let's take a closer look at him. I think this is just concept art. But it looks like he's wearing some sort of... I want to say a ghillie suit, but I don't know. It could just be a carpet for all I know. This guy has a really scraggly beard. He has like some sort of armor on him? Bulletproof plating, maybe? Not too sure, but it looks bolted on. Along with holding what looks like a 1911. Oh my god, does this guy not have any freaking pants on? I think I can actually see his f That's kind of what it looks like right there. His big ding is just hanging out. What the hell? I'm gonna have to censor that. Man's not wearing any pants or shoes or socks, but he has some sort of weird looking armor. Those look like metal plates on him or something. That's gotta be heavy, especially with this thing over his head. But the interesting thing about this right here is that it says Gerard Scott. Does that name ring any bells? Void Interactivist said that they don't
don't like to like base things off of real life but we know that they do come on now so maybe this is probably based off of someone and we just don't know who it is if you think you know who this person is then let me know if it's nobody and they just made it up well, it's gonna be interesting to see him in the game. And moving on to the last thing here, we got explosives. A lot of these are just like, you know, cups. Or not cup, oh, I forget what they're called. Canteen. Actually, I have mine right next to me. Like, one of them almost looks exactly like the one that I have. But these are obviously IEDs, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, they're saying that this is some older ideas for IEDs to be placed on doors. I think that these would actually be a lot better because they're all makeshift. I don't think anybody would actually have access to like actual grenades, at least in these particular parts of towns. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it isn't possible but i think i would like to see more makeshift stuff than actual legitimate stuff you know so that was pretty cool let's move on to the last thing here which actually comes from their twitter which says modern sleek powerful the b1301 is coming to ready or not in april and this is not an april fool's joke let's take a look at this video here That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. What are your guys' thoughts? Are you excited for what's coming in? For what's in store for all of us? Let me know what you think down below, because I'm going to get the hell up out of here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video. Any donation helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.